Uh, I kind of... Oh, that's what you're supposed to exit out from. Oh, Jesus! Hey there, and welcome to the cancelled demo for, or cancelled version of King of Darkness, a fan game made by Manzanito that I was following for quite a while, and then it got cancelled a couple days ago. So I wanted to at least get a chance to take a look at what, you know, was done so far. So real quick, we're just going to go through, like, the game page, and then we'll move on and see what we have here. The first thing here is a quote. You see, I want a lot. Perhaps I want everything. The darkness that comes with every infinite fall and the shivering blaze of every step up. By Rainer Maria Reich. That might be a official quote, I have no idea. Now this is a story about twin fates, a relentless beast, and a sleeping king. Michelle has moved to the new office. There, she's told to look closely at Daniel Ray, Re, Daniel Renfield, Renfeld, VHS. She is told to look closely at Daniel Renfield's VHS collection about his investigation on his missing sister and her own report on the white fox incident at the Perfect Sisters restaurant. For the first time in history, someone has the key to put the end to put an end to the endless chain of calamities ever since the founding of the White Salamanders. That okay, that's so there's so many characters already in there that I just they just throw a lot at you there. Rest assured, when you uncover things from the past, the creatures you thought you left behind are likely to come back for your flesh. And this is supposed to be a pretty large game, quite a few people working on it, but it did get cancelled. As for why, I am not sure. But anyways, let's get into it and see what we have here. I like the aesthetic of the main menu so far, and it seems to have a very interesting theme. So here we have three different like modes or well three different places you could go right the gallery which sounds a lot like extras we also have the lucid nightmare can we go in here yet Ooh. i'm not sure it's just a white screen let's go back maybe there's nothing there and then story mode oh here we go really nice style rosemary pharaoh oh phone's ringing Hello, oh. this is a pre-recorded message from Gavin Anakit. Hey, Gavin Anakit? This is Gavin. You didn't pick up my first three calls, so I was wondering if everything is okay, or if you needed any help. Nah, anyway, that's fine. Welcome to the new office. What do you think? Cozy, right? Just kind kidding. of. The lighting what? is awful. I'll what? personally bring some lamps next time I go over there. Uh, I just okay. need to get some work done by Wednesday. Until then, you will continue with your assignments like normal. All right. I know it's not easy for you to get in touch again with these kinds of stories. <clears throat> what stories? It has been a whole month since since the uh, White Fox incident, but it feels like yesterday. I can totally understand how you might feel right now. Don't get me wrong. What a way to start a case. You did nothing but excellent work, Michelle. Mr. E is really proud of you. You need to know that despite not being a clear step to victory, it is a huge step forward. Okay, so... Besides your five entries on the matter, They've the already... only thing left to do is go through that box I left on the white desk. Okay. Those VHS tapes are the big fish. Oh, There's right. The, the Renfield VHS and collection. I have good news. We found him. We know who started it all. Daniel Renfield is the name of the owner of the they, white Even they say Renfield. God, so I'm, I'm guessing they misspelled it. This is yeah, all it says Renfield. And his Renfield. That's why we're really close to ending all of this once and for all. Listen closely, Michelle. This is what we found. When he was 24 years old, Daniel started his own business, a team of private investigators and lawyers called the White Salamanders. You know, the best of the country. Oh, so that's They're what that means. Too dark to uncover for them. I don't know. I, I no was guessing something completely different. To win. We already know they were lying. They were responsible of doing the very thing they were supposed to fight. The numbers have been updated before. We thought they covered up small and random crimes with no apparent connection. But it turns out that what they were best at was hiding and destroying evidence of larger crimes related to larger corporations. There was this time, so... Daniel and his partners were in the middle of a shady business, trying to launder some cash, and they were about to succeed. But Renfield left them on their own. The thing is, uh, his sister had gone missing. He freaked out, of course, and thought one of his many enemies was involved in trying to send a message. Did this okay. make him reconsider his life choices? Of course not. He was willing to find his sister and take justice into his own hands. Not so long after, coincidentally, on the same day, Perfect Sisters Restaurant opened. 
Daniel disappeared like his sister, leaving behind nothing else than ten hidden VHS tapes. Ten? And that's basically it. We've got them, Michelle. All this evidence will lead every single white salamander to jail. I know you want to see them reduced to ashes, just like Mr. E. That's okay. so specific. Okay. I got a little carried away. Um, yeah, you just don't think? Just want to say, if you stop by the old office on Wednesday, I can give you the keys to the back room and tell you where I hid the donut. Until then, you don't miss out on that much, really. The queen in the back room can hardly be activated, in fact. It doesn't pose any danger anymore, but you know, it's too valuable to be left in the main room. Um, sometimes she talks to herself back there. That's the only thing she does, really. I now, sure hope on so. your left is the supply closet. Right now, it's filled with evidence boxes and stuff, but I think you might find something interesting there if you want to check it out. On your right, there's a room with some fun old arcade machines that still work. You just need some tokens to play. Give it a try. Then, if you keep walking, you will reach the back room. Yeah, I know this place isn't that big, but it will be easier to keep clean, I guess. <clears throat> all right. I think that's all I wanted to say, so take care. Don't drink too much coffee, and I'll see you Wednesday, I guess. Okay. Oh, ooh. So they have, they've clearly done a lot so far, um, in terms of, I, very, very, a lot, I don't know, wait, what the hell? Oh, it's like a little mini game to get the tokens for the, this is for the arcade machine. Now, they clearly have put a lot into work into building the story for the game, and, also, like, you know, they have so many characters already, or rather had, I should say, but they clearly put a lot of work into this. I like the design, you know, they were clearly going somewhere with the story. They had all these characters, pretty much about a corrupt organization of PIs, from what I understand, that started, like, covering up crimes, you know, to make that extra dope. Ooh. Sweet dreams. Wait, what? Oh, okay, so this is like the VHS tape. So we have someone in Neon Field going from a house over to this like mansion over here. I mean, look at look at this. They even have like these, these nice little, what? Placeholder. Uh, oh, that's a placeholder. Uh, for maybe mechanics. Wow. Oh, open the box, It'll open the box. Eight, five. Oh, so you already know what this has. Interesting. Oh, then nine. Interesting. You can't seem to open. Oh, wait. Yes, you can. Wow. Okay. This is kind of cool, to be honest. Like, it, it reminds me a bit of glitched attraction. How you entered this room, and now you have to, in order to escape, you have to complete this random task, pretty much. So now we have, well, we already did five. What was that? Hello? Also, what's the creepy portrait up on the wall? Oh, hey there. How you doing? Doing good? I'm trying to see, like, what else can you do here? Nine goes in the bottom here. Now, obviously, with the task like this, which is it's pretty interesting how they have it. You know, you have to pretty much search up the codes for the box. Only thing is, because of how it's random, you have to kind of, like, keep opening it until you get the number that you need. Like that one, seven. All right, I had to restart it, which means we probably would have to go through that again, I think. All right, never mind. You could actually skip it. Now, I want to see what's here. The arcade... Ma oh! I guess you can still play them. All right. Oh, I, I, for some reason I keep I keep thinking that I keep thinking that everything is working as intended, even if it might not be the case. Oh, I don't want to do that. Let's try. Oh, don't hit me with that. Okay, we're good. I was a bit worried there. I don't, uh, they seem to have done quite a lot, which you know, it is pretty cool to see. Oh, oh no. I think I'm actually, okay, I think I actually broke there. Okay, let's go back. Uh, let's see if we can check out another level, like level two, the storyteller. 
I don't know how many levels they actually have available here. The theme is also very interesting, right? You have a king, you know, like kind of like a royalty ba based. You have little like things here. Endoskeleton, weird doll on the right. Load missing resources. What? What is going on? Oh, what the hell are you? Okay. I don't know. I mean, I'm not, again, I'm not sure. Hey there. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> oh, what the? Oh, hey there. Uh, I kind of. Oh, that's what you're supposed to exit out from. <gasps> oh, Jesus. I mean, I was literally looking at it and I looked away. <laughs> okay. Let's go back to the menu. Uh, the shift at PSR, which doesn't have a number. I'm curious to see what that is. Oh, PS Restaurant. PS Restaurant. Uh, I have to like, I have to like, kind of quit that habit of like constantly being like, oh, why, why did I have to cancel it? Uh, what's going on here? So you managed to get inside. Yeah. Right. Uh, let me introduce myself. I'm Hayden. Hayden Tanner. Oh, I broke in the night. Restaurant. Nice to meet you, uh, Michelle. Right. Oh, never mind. Uh, I would have liked to serve you like the other customers, but let's just say I'm a bit far from there, and because the place closed four hours ago, I'm afraid there's no food left for you. Uh, sorry about that. That's unfortunate. Ooh. You know, we serve everything fresh. Except <laughs> fridges, you'll see that we have... Who are trying to convince? Stuff. You know, the kind of stuff that should be frozen. And I don't think anyone would want that as a midnight snack. As you can see, the place is not very big because I wanted to give it a cozy feel. And I'm proud to say that after almost 12 years, nothing has really changed. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing. difficult to install the lighting and ventilation system in each room. Speaking about the systems, I'm 99% sure the security system activated when you broke in. Sorry, it's a default thing. I can't. What do you, oh my, I accidentally exited out. They, I, I want to keep, I, I'm going to like go through a few more levels and see like if they actually have that stuff right. Because it seems like they have, they have done quite a lot. They have voice acting, right? They have like actual like lore set up. They have mechanics that essentially pretty much work. They just don't have them explained or anything. I don't know. And then you have this. I'm not sure what I'm doing there. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell? Creepy face on the wall. I love to see it. Oh, the way I just walk up there. Like, let's go. So, let's see. It was his birthday. Sounds very interesting. Heaven of Melted Gold. Cassettes in the Woods. Let's go to Cassettes in the Woods for our final one. Ooh. Rat Thief. Not enough room. What the hell? Well, he doesn't seem like he can do anything in here. All right, I think we'll take a look at the gallery and then leave it off there for this. But uh, first off, oh, hold on. Just re just realized the whole shift at PS restaurant, Perfect Sisters restaurant. Now we know. So first off, this is a lure the red panda. Something tells me this is what we call a placeholder. Oh, it doesn't seem like you can actually like look at anything here. It's just like a menu that's there currently. All right. So that's really where it's going to be it for this canceled, the canceled version of King of Darkness. It is, it is a shame because it seems like they had something really interesting going on here. You know, I love the aesthetics of the, the aesthetic, like design style of the game, if that makes sense. And, you know, they clearly had like a story going on and a really interesting theme with like the whole like king and queen royalty, you know. But that's not even like the main thing. I think like having all these different levels, you know, through the VHS tapes is pretty interesting as well. You know, helps create like, you know, unique gameplay throughout the entirety of the game so that you're not just doing the same thing over and over again. You know, having all these different environments. I mean, it's just they clearly put a lot of work into it. They even had voice acting. So, I mean, for what they have so far, you know, pretty cool is all I can say, really. So with that said, best of luck with the developers and whatever they're trying to do now i guess and of course if you want to check the game out it'll be in the description below as always and if you did enjoy this video leave a like subscribe all that good stuff lets me know you're enjoying the content and want to see more of it
with that said, I'll see you in another video. Take care.